So there's something else that we now see as the smoke leaves us to the top here, and that's kind of here. I think I see the outline of my Rubik's cube, so to say. So I can see that this is, there's basically the volume ends here. The smoke would ideally extend it, but there's just no room in that volume. So I like the effect, but for the size for the resolution of my bounding box that's just not uh, large enough so we can change that and that is not happening under the emitter node that's happening on the simulation node here let's have a look at that that's actually this thing that we that we need in a minute so i'll bring that over here volume is is the thing that we that we need so on the simulation node here, there's these parameters on the bottom here. There's a voxel count. Currently we're on 128 by 128 by 256. So Z is up like in Blender. X and Y are width and depth essentially, and Z is up. So we have a square footprint that's twice as tall as it is, you know, as it has the footprint. So we have something technically like a bit like a bit like that. That's that's what our voxel thing currently looks like. And the effect that's happening in here just hits the walls of my bounding box. So I can either make the box larger, so I can leave it uh, 256 high, and I can just also make it 256 wide. That'll make that happen, 256 by 256. And then it says here at the bottom, um, apply for the new resolution. I'll do that. And that now means I have a larger voxel resolution as well. So this is now 16 million voxels as opposed to four that I had before, or eight, I think. Let's have a look, uh, 128 by 128. What did program say? Program said four million. So I haven't doubled it. I've quadrupled the size of my voxels here, 256 by 256. But I've also got a really good um, resolution going on now. So if I hit apply new resolution and I hit R and press the space bar, then I should see that the smoke isn't hitting the outsides of my wall anymore. I also do see that the effect is now simulated a bit slower, and that's because my GPU has to work a lot harder. So it's one of those things. Um, the other option would be to leave the bounding box that I had before and just make my actual footprint, my actual primitive smaller, then I would retain the resolution of the voxels, but it would then, you know, this explosion would happen on a smaller scale, might change the look and feel of it, but it would certainly fit into a smaller bounding box. So we could try that as well. Why don't we? I'll put this back to 128 by 128. Hit apply resolution. And now we're hitting the outsides again. But then if I go to emitter, under transform, I have the, no, actually that's the, the shape, isn't it? There we go. It's my, is it the shape? Radius and high, yeah, radius, there we go. So if I go and put the radius to half of three meters, I'll say 0.5 meters, then it's much smaller. And I think I'm getting the same effect without increasing my voxel resolution. Maybe even one meter is probably enough for this. Oh yeah, I'm still hitting the sides here. Let's see what one meter has to offer. I think one meter we can live with. So we still have the same effect, but in a smaller bounding box. It's still 160 frames. It's, that's that's going to be okay. That's going to that's going to look okay. I think. I don't want to make it too big. You can make it as big as you want, of course, but it'll be it'll be an issue then also bringing it across into other applications. It's also a matter of rendering it out that might take a bit longer and stuff. So we'll we'll just leave it like this for now. And I'll show you one more thing that is also under the simulation here. There is a way to upscale this whole thing. So you can leave it as it is and then upscale to times two, times three, and times four. So it says here, upscaling factor of the simulation. This will increase the simulation, but will keep the shape of the original. Options are times two, which uses eight times more memory, or times three, which uses 27 times memory, or times four, which means 64 times memory is needed. So if I go and enable that and just set it to times two, once again, I need to apply that here. Then we have a similar thing that we had before. So it's now, it has more resolution. The simulation is a bit slower, but I think it'll be good once we get that exported.